Hey everybody, you know me, it's Paul with Washington Pro Carpet Cleaning and today I'm using the Green Dragon. If you watch the video I posted of the ncapstore.com, I had an unboxing and I was, uh, the UPS guy pulled up right when I was getting ready to leave. And this is my only job for the day. I had a, another one that I was going to do today, but they had something come up so they moved it forward on my calendar, which is fine. I could use some time off. And this is an all nylon carpet. So it should be pretty easy to clean. It's not that in that bad of shape. It's just these entryways and a little bit of the hallway and the uh, upstairs. I don't I didn't film the upstairs, but I'll show the after so you can get an idea of what I did here. They're putting this home up on the market. So it'll be for sale. It's a nice home. I'm doing two bedrooms, a uh, hallway, and two com complete sets of staircases in a family room that has a step down. It's like a small family room with a step down sunken living room. So I'll show you that. I am using my Scott lithium battery powered sprayer that you can get on Amazon for $79. Here's the drop down family room. And I will tell you, I had intended on using my mighty echo 14 today. And I'll tell you what, I, I'm so frustrated with um, the some of the jobs I've been getting I, I was even ready to uh, film with a tripod today. But, well, I guess I shouldn't say I'm frustrated because I could tell you what, if you showed up at this job and all you had was a 175 or a mighty Echo 14 or 17, you're going to kill yourself because with two narrow staircases, a narrow hallway, all the furniture, as you can see in the family room here, and in this back bedroom, it would have been a nightmare without the auric orbiter. <laughs> I'm truly, I've been trying to get away from the auric and use the bigger machines just because I feel like they're going to clean better. They're more professional, you know, and hey, I wanted to graduate and move to the next level. But here I am again with the auric orbiter. And I, no offense to the auric orbiter, I love the auric. And I'm, you can see I've, I've been using those glad pads. I'm actually liking those. I wish they would just wash up and look better and not have all the debris on them, but the the glad pads are actually becoming my go-to for the Auric. You can go right down the stairs. They adhere really good to the Challenger pad driver. Look at this beautiful home. Going up for sale, it's right on the water. It's about eight minutes from my house. My house is over to the right. But uh, anyway, the Green Dragon, most of the spots and soil that I saw in the traffic area and whatnot, already starting to break up. But now look at this section. If you're a guy without an auric orbiter, you're in trouble, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I don't know what you guys do without it. You know, I mean, I've been a steam cleaner all my life and, or all my career, I should say, and I took up VLM. Uh, started watching some people using the Auric Orbiter and then eventually realized that it's a really cool concept, but I didn't want to use uh, household cleaners anymore with it. That was all I knew about VLM in the beginning. I decided I would start looking for uh, better products. I found Bonnet Pro and I found another excellent supply, but their shipping was just too outrageous for the area where I live. I'm almost like on an island. We're separated from Seattle by a huge uh, bank of water, which is the ocean, Puget Sound. So I stumbled across uh, the ncapstore.com. He has a flat rate shipping. He's always looking for ways to help me cut down on my costs. And so, that's my go-to right there is the end cap store, Damon Williams. Love all the products. And 
I realized that by using professional products, I was getting twice the results with the Auric Orbiter and the correct pads. You know, instead of spinning uh, something that wasn't actually made of cotton or wasn't picking up the amount of soil or was actually leaving, I even tried uh, plant-based laundry soap and no offense to anyone who's doing that. My good friend Travis was the one that told me about it and uh, it did work pretty good, but it will more than likely leave a residue. And I just, I felt like, hey, the cost is about the same. I might as well uh, use the proper chemicals. And the work that I'm using is the XL Pro. So it is the one, I guess the biggest motor you can get. It's not the one third horsepower, which is some of those, I think the one that says commercial is the smaller one, but uh, anyway, it's doing a fantastic job. I am kind of upset with the fact that um, I can't use my Mighty Eco as much as I want to. In fact, I've been talking with Damon and I'm not sure 100% what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if it's too bulky, too heavy, uh, there's a possibility that uh, I may end up uh, getting a different machine. Um, I don't know if I'll take a loss on this one or I'll just keep it for backup. But I've used it quite a few times and I will tell you, it to me, and maybe it's me, I don't know. If you own one, let me know. It, it's For residential, it, it can be kind of a bear, just like the 175. And again, I'll go back to this one. Imagine coming up here working around this tiny, tiny area. This has got to be less than 100 square foot here. And then going down the hallway and doing maybe another 100 or 75 square foot family room. And then knowing that you have to pull the auric out anyway, or your handheld orbiter, to do the step down stair to the living room and to do the two sets of staircases because you cannot do it with the 175 or the Mighty Eco. So that's what's frustrating, you know what I mean? And I'm a one-man show. Luckily today I'm only with one job so I don't have to move as quick. But I, I just can't imagine pulling the bigger machine up the stairs and down the stairs, do the small areas I'm doing and then switch over, carry the Auric Orbiter up the stairs, go down the stairs, because there's two sets. And like I said, that little uh, one step on the sunken family room. I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, I can make my life a lot easier by just pulling the one machine in. And if I didn't think I was getting quality results, and I know I'm getting quality results because of the chemical I'm using, the Green Dragon, I don't have to worry about it. And if I had to come back and go over it again, I would. So anyway, that's my little rant there. If you watched my last video on the unboxing and before I did the unboxing, I was getting ready to leave the house and come to this job. I fully was excited. I even pointed out my Mighty Eco in the van saying that I was excited I'm going to use it today because I saw a picture of the hallway in the entry upstairs. She didn't show me any of this. This is a new client. So I got out here with full intentions and then unboxing the new Zinger pads. I was ready to roll. I mean, I was going to pull out... <laughs> everything and go to town I, I imagine i could still do it but you see what i'm saying clean that lower level go get the auric clean the step or use the handheld orbital clean the step then go two staircases park the bigger machine get the auric so <clears throat> i don't know let me know what your thoughts are in the comments about some jobs being okay with just the orc orbiter and some guys have got into the business 
and they're just using the auric orbiter and uh, that's fine. I do want to say in this video, I caution all my new people that started. I don't, I don't come on here and advocate you go out and buy an auric orbiter and get right into business. Um, you have to remember I've been doing this for 27, almost 30 years. I worked for uh, uh, Stanley Steamer and got certified through the Institute. Started my own company over the years. <clears throat> um, I went to full truck mounts, spent money on that. I started duplicating it. I had my sons working with me and uncles and nephews and got up to, um, you know, multi-truck operation. My sons all went off, started their own businesses and did their thing. So I started to downsize and sold the equipment and bought portable um, portable carpet cleaning equipment. Started, I think, with the old Ninja and then moved up from there. But anyway, powerful portable equipment so that I could go out and um, if you watch the All-American Mac, he's got the answer. He's got the electric truck mount in a uh, storage or what do you call those vehicles like like a trailer so he's got it down pat he's got the little giant for heat and everything so if you're trying to get into that maybe look at the all-american mac and my system i had a booster uh, a couple bucket heaters i did it my way and it worked fine but anyway um, I gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience along the way. So when people call me and ask me and I'm not picking on anybody, and if you think I'm referring to you, it may not be you. I get five, six guys call me a day or email me or text me. And it's, it's sometimes it's similar type of questions, but, um, you know, you got to be extremely careful you can't jumping into business with a $300 auric and then choosing to you know these guys watch a lot of different people and they so some of them are using uh, fabuloso which is fine I, I even tried that myself but I'm telling you it's not made for carpet it's made for hard floors and surfaces I've gone back to homes they do resoil a little bit more rapidly than if you use the quality chemical, but, um, and that's the thing, you know, if you're just doing a local apartment community that you live in and helping people out, or you're just doing family members, do what you want. But when you step into someone's home and you have no experience other than, oh yeah, I, I watched a couple of your videos, I ordered the machine, and now I'm at this house and this is what happened to this carpet. Can you help me? And, you know, th there's a couple channels. I know one of the guys got upset at me the other day, <laughs> said that he didn't realize he thought he was talking to the carpet muscle and that that guy um, is training people to get, I guess, you know, whatever they can get, equipment, uh, challenger, and uh, mix up some chemicals. And the, the thing about that is, um, I know who you're referring to. That guy's been in business almost as long as me. So just because he puts a video up and it looks easy, there's, there's a whole brain full of knowledge um, in that guy's head just like what's in my head and so when things occur we see certain things or people react a certain way or customers um, are upset oh, there's all kinds of stuff that we've encountered and just because you watched one or two of our videos is not going to put you in the same category that we're in you know, and I, I will tell you, I have liability insurance through Hiscox Insurance. I mean, if I F something up, I can file a claim, and I haven't had that problem. And, you know, if you start mixing stuff up and you get it on their wood floor and it reacts to 
uh, whatever's on there and discolors it or whatever, you have to be prepared for those situations. So now the guy who is mixing his own stuff and doing that, like I said, if he says, hey, I've been in business for over 20 years and I've been doing this, okay, that guy's prepared. You know, I'm not going to knock him. But if you're brand new and you're getting the wrong ideas and I see people send me, um, hey, I'm using this product or that product, you know, it's, it's not made for VLM, uh, you could end up with a, a problem, you know what I mean? Using Zep carpet shampoo and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's not COVID. <laughs> But anyway, I love all my followers. I'm glad you guys are taking the initiative and um, getting out there and doing what you can do. But I do want you to know that I, I'm not posting these videos as an advocate to say, hey, you can go start your own business and everything will be great. And I, I can't, I'm not a coach, I'm not a trainer, so... You know, you can ask me a couple things, but when it gets to where people are on the phone with me for an hour or I get 10, 15 texts in a row, um, you know, it, it's hard for me. And you never know who you're dealing with. You know what I mean? Like to me, look at these results. I'll run through them. But to me, most of the questions people ask me, you could Google. If, you know, you're, you know, you're already making videos and you're, using a smartphone so google some of these questions and don't just go with the first answer dig deep you know get knowledge that tool in your hand that's your professor look at those lines with my carpet brush <laughs> anyway i hope this helps somebody you know Spend some time. Don't just watch a couple videos of mine or the Carpet Muscle or anyone else and go into people's homes. You know, carpet's very expensive. I mean, you're looking at four to $500 a room easily to carpet uh, these areas. And these people are relying on you and trusting you. And if they knew that the only background you had was I watched two videos and bought a $300 machine on Amazon, I think they'd go berserk. So be careful. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode.